Hi you guys, I am so sorry that I have not properly talked and like introduced this video. Yesterday I managed to get a couple of clips in for this week's episode and today I am running around. I have so many meetings at the office, but welcome to this week's episode. I will hopefully catch up with you guys later. I literally have to join a meeting right now. It's just been busy, busy, busy. But I just wanted to say hi really quickly that I love you guys. I'm so sorry that I haven't been filming like this week um as much as i did last week but the weekend is coming up so i'll definitely be filming a lot for that but i just want to say hi really quick i don't know what to I do i think he's just i had an exam tomorrow and just and like freaking out we broke up i'm pretty sure she was talking what about ghosting i ought to get a dog to do for my bed today but they make fun of me i wish i could go back in time and change things and yeah that's what i would do just don't quote me on that A couple more meetings and then we get to go home. We went to lunch for a little bit and now we have like two more meetings left. Like, oh my God, we have so many meetings today. And then we'll go home. Because we have an event tonight. I'm exhausted. I just want to take a nap. Okay, now I feel like I can properly sit down and say hi to you guys and talk to you guys a little bit. We had such a busy and hectic day. We literally had meetings back to back all day. So I tried filming as much as I could, but my head was in meetings, not glued to my computer, but just talking to a lot of people. But anyways, we got back home not too long ago. I just did my makeup, got ready. We're going to an event. It's like a wind down type of thing. Um, at a restaurant. It's like a sun sunset wine chill. I don't even know what it is. Honestly, we're just going So I got dressed and did my makeup and everything really quickly We're gonna head to that and honestly like I feel like every time that I vlog or like start a video I tell you guys what the next couple of days are going to look like and what like the vlog is going to be about But I have no idea this time like I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow What we're doing the day after what my plans are going to be for the next couple of days so we'll see as they happen i will definitely keep you guys updated tell you everything that's going on but for now we're just gonna do that i'm honestly pretty not pretty i'm very tired like i wanted to just get in my bed and hibernate but nope we gotta go to this and then i have to do a little bit more work for brand deals and film a couple of videos edit a couple of videos and then i can get in bed and then tomorrow hopefully i can sleep until noon we'll see if that happens <laughs> I don't know, I might not be able to. I think I have some work to do tomorrow for the office, but I'll just keep you guys updated. We'll see what this week's vlog is gonna be about, but I just wanted to like properly talk to you guys. I feel like I've abandoned you for a little bit there. So just wanted to say hi. This is the outfit for the event. I don't know if you guys can see it there properly. It's the dress that I wore in Mexico. I just, I love this dress, but I'm wearing it with these flat shoes and then this little brown purse and i did a pony because my hair is greasy af <laughs> Hi you guys, so today is Saturday, it's like 3 p.m. I have not gotten up from my bed until just now. We've literally been, hello. Can you knock on the door? 
Oh, I did knock on your door. I wanted to know what you were up to. I'm kind of bored. You want to hang out with me? I'm bored. You want to watch a movie? I'm not, like, I'm going to shower, like, before going to bed. Like, I'm going to stay in my pajamas. What do you mean, You're going out with me? I'm going out with you <laughs> tonight? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Like, what do you mean? I'm not going to go out if you don't go out with me. What do you mean, what do I mean? I thought I saved myself from going out tonight. How? In what world? Because it's raining outside, and who would want to do anything other than just hibernate on a Saturday when it's raining? Or regardless of the fact that it's raining, it's a Saturday, which means hibernation period. No, we can hibernate tomorrow. What do you have? I can't hibernate. Tomorrow. I can't hibernate tomorrow either. Why not? Because I have to film for the show. Film today. I'm not filming today. I'm not in the mood to get ready, do my makeup, and like get all dressed. I would like to just stay in my pajamas all day and rot. Tomorrow. We're going out tonight. All right, guys. Well, I looks. <laughs> I was about to say that the plan for today was just to stay in pajamas all day and watch movies and eat Uncrustables, but I guess, I mean, I'm still going to do that for a couple of hours, but I guess that I'm going out tonight with my sister and her friends. I can't even know who's going out. Am I going out? Because the thing is... <sighs> That's my exact same expression. So... Yelvin doesn't really want to go. Like Yelvin I don't go. really want to go. Yelvin only would go because I'm harassing me to go. And then Tessia was like, come with me and my friends, but we would have to go... All the way to fall. Is my mom gonna watch that? <laughs> my mom is gonna watch that, but I'll just beep it out. Because she lives in Miami Shores, but she's gonna host a pregame at her house, like at ten. So we could go there and then just go with everybody. But I think it's kind of okay, awkward just... if I take you to test. Exactly, house. that's what I mean. Tell me why a twenty-one-year-old is hanging out with. Twenty, eight... you're not twenty-one yet. I'm, today you're twenty. I'm twenty one next you're week. 20. I'm twenty one next week. Okay, Why well, am I hanging out with eighteen year olds? Tonight you're twenty. <laughs> we'll see. I will tell you guys later if I decide to go or not. But it looks like I'm gonna get pushed against the wall and blackmailed until I go. Can we just go watch a movie then? Hold on, don't call me. Es que de verdad que no quiero salir. My parents are not gonna let me out if you don't go so the only reason you want me to go out is because <laughs> it's you're also a really fun person. <laughs> Hello. Hey, so am I getting ready at your house? My curfew is at 130. One thirty you have to leave or one thirty you have to be home? One thirty you have to leave, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thirty you, well, have, you to, have to Okay, be that's home a that's an awesome time. I have to be home yeah, at one thirty, who told you that? I think you have to be home at one thirty. I don't have a curfew, clearly. But no. some of us do. It might get extended if I'm going. Because I told my aunt. Do you really told, want me to I go? Mom, like, I need you to go. We're going what? out tonight. All right, we're going Wait, out tonight. Am I getting ready at your house? I don't even know if I can go yet, bro. <laughs> so why are you trying to convince me to go if you, you don't even know if you're going? <laughs> I did all of this to literally go. I'm not backing down now. We'll be there. <laughs> Okay, because listen to me. I'm trying to figure it out because you can Okay, so it turns out we are gonna go to dinner with my family and then my sister and I are gonna go out But I'm gonna touch my makeup after dinner just for like a more night look But we gotta go right now because we're running late for dinner. Yo ya estoy lista! Yeah, we gotta go. So we're just having dinner here at the place where we live and then We'll get ready changed everything and then we're gonna go out. I'm gonna go out with her friends Saturday night they got me out of the house <laughs>
Maria got me out of the house. She did it. We actually had such a good time with her friends and going out and everything. And now it's Sunday, took an everything shower, time to chill, time to hang out with you guys and talk. So let's get into this week's advice segment. This week is handle with care, which is everything that has to do with our bodies, confidence, self-esteem. And I wanted to talk about confidence, but not just about our bodies, because I feel like insecurities and confidence can be about anything. I had actually planned this episode out like weeks ago. I planned what I was going to talk about today. And I got a DM from a girl saying that she was struggling with feeling confident even though like she felt confident like when she was by herself, when she's with other people and in other settings, that's when the insecurities kick in. And I can totally relate to that. Like I've talked about it before. My social anxiety absolutely kills me. I will feel so confident walking out of my room when I am by myself. And as soon as I get to a social setting, it's gone. Like that's where it kicks in. So let's talk about that, but not just focused on our bodies. Because like I said, insecurities can be about anything. Everybody has things that make them feel insecure, make them feel less confident, and it's not all about our bodies. So whatever insecurity you may go through in life, whatever insecurity you're currently experiencing or have experienced in the past, this is my like confidence 101 advice. And it's something that my dad kind of taught me in a way in like a weird setting. We were at the gym. <laughs> we were at the gym and something that I've like always felt insecure about, not only just like my physical appearance, which is something that I struggled with as a teenager, but my height is something that I felt really insecure about amongst other things. There's a lot of non-physical qualities which I've felt insecure about in my life but I was 16 at the time so at this point I was feeling really insecure physically yes but what I'm gonna tell you guys and like the piece of advice can apply to any insecurity whether physical or not but at this point in my life I was feeling really insecure about my just face body height like just felt like not pretty at all didn't want people to see me, like didn't want to go out, didn't want to hang out with anyone, just really shy and really timid and like hiding myself in a way, hiding myself with clothes, hiding myself, just like I like got in this little shell and like in this little cocoon and we were at the gym of all places with my dad and he had like he had noticed, like my family had noticed that once I started my teens, I changed a lot, like my personality changed a lot in the sense that I wasn't as open, I wasn't as outgoing, I wasn't as friendly just because I became this really shy and sort of like embarrassed person, like embarrassed of myself. So I became like 
physically protective of my physical appearance because I didn't want people to see it. So I would walk really just like shrugged up, like shoulders shrugged, looking down, wouldn't make eye contact, wouldn't talk. I just didn't want to draw attention to me. So we walked into the gym and he told me, he was like, you need to stand up tall. Like you need to chin up. You need to just shoulders back, like walk in tall because the way that you're walking into places right now really just tells me that you're not a confident person because you're like your whole demeanor shows that you're trying to hide yourself. You're trying to like protect yourself from everybody seeing you. And he was like, whether you feel confident or not, like just walk in with your chin up, shoulders back, like walk in like you are the most confident person in the room, whether you're feeling like that or not, because that's just what you're going to radiate to people. And eventually, once you do learn and practice that self-love and your self-esteem grows, you'll like already be there. You'll already be walking like that person and something that we've like you guys have probably heard which is a quote and that's not it's not even a quote it's like a saying that's like show up as the person that you want to be well if you want to be this really confident person then show up as that person that's confident and that's basically what he was trying to tell me that whether I felt confident or not I needed to like chin up I needed to show that project that like stop hiding myself And that day I realized that I actually did walk like that. Like I used to walk, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like just super shrugged, like looking down, shoulders up, hiding my face with my hair and wearing super baggy clothes to hide my body. And that's something that helped me really understand that it's not about the hand that you were dealt with. It's how you play the game. There's a lot of things about us that we don't like, a lot of whether physical or not physical traits that we have. Maybe there's something about you that's not physical, but you don't like it. Maybe there's something that is physical, but you don't like it. Maybe there's just that one thing or many things that make you feel insecure, make you feel less confident, but you're okay with them when you're by yourself. And then when you're with other people, you feel like, okay, I need to hide this thing so that they don't see it or I get scared that they're going to judge me for this thing. And my advice to you would be like, own it, literally own it. Like that thing that you don't like, well, sucks. Like I have it. Like it's, it's this thing about me and in a way, like be proud of it. And one day, like if you convince yourself that you're proud of it, one day you're going to be proud of it. I used to hate my height. I used to literally just stand on my hip, bring my shoulders down so that I wasn't as tall. And I followed my dad's advice. I chinned up. I started walking into places like I was the most confident girl in the room. I started pretending like I loved my height. Like I would literally gaslight myself into thinking that I loved my height. And I would tell people and tell myself like, yeah, no, I really like my height. Like I love my height. Like I love being a tall person, even though I hated it. I gaslighted myself into thinking that being a tall person was a cool thing. And now I don't mind it. I'm not in love with it, but I don't mind it. And I can walk into a room not feeling insecure about my height. Like it's, it's there, you know, like I have it. It's a quality of mine that makes me unique, makes me stand out from other people. So whether I like it or not, it is the hand that I was dealt with. And the way that I'm going to play it is that I'm going to own it. I'm going to chin up. I'm going to make it the best that I can. And I'm going to act like it's the coolest thing in the entire world so that eventually that confidence does grow on you. So if you're feeling insecure about something, and I don't know, let me, let me find an example of something that's not physical. Maybe you're insecure about your style the way you dress, because it's very different to everybody else. Maybe you've even gotten judged for the way that you got dressed. I remember one time I posted this TikTok with an outfit that we were going to the Heats game, and I wore this white tank top, white jeans, and I wore these blue, sparkly, like bedazzled boots, and I really liked the outfit. Like I left my house feeling super confident with the outfit, And as soon as I posted that TikTok, because at the game, people did compliment me for my outfit. But as soon as I posted that TikTok, all of the comments, like there was barely one positive comment. All of the comments were like, that just does not match. Like, I hate the outfit. Like, please never wear that again. Like, that was a terrible choice of outfit. Like, horrible. Just telling me that the outfit absolutely sucked. And I felt super insecure about it immediately. Like, I felt super insecure about it. And then I remembered... And I brought myself back to that feeling from when before I left the house. 
If I really like it, sucks if you don't like it. I felt confident. I'm not going to let you bring me down. I'm going to own it. I'm going to be proud of the outfit. I'm going to be proud of the choice that I made. I'm going to be proud of the fact that it made me confident. I'm going to be proud of the fact that I liked the outfit. And if you don't like it, that's a you problem. So that's an example. If you're really insecure about your style because it doesn't match everybody else's, people make fun of it. You don't know if you're dressing correctly and matching things properly. That's your style own it. If people don't like it, if you think people are going to judge you, if people do judge you, chin up, own it, walk in like you do feel really confident about it until you do. Or if you actually do feel really confident about it, don't let other people bring you down. But always, always be proud of those things that other people have brought you down for or that you yourself have trained yourself to think that you should feel insecure about them. Because at the end of the day, we create those insecurities. Those insecurities are things that we have taught ourselves to think that they're an issue and that they're something that we should hide and they're they're something that we should feel ashamed of. Switch, switch that mindset, switch it to this is something that I am goddamn proud of until the day that you are. Because at some point you were proud of it. At some point it was something that you liked. And maybe if it is a physical trait, maybe if it's your laugh or I don't know, something else that is a physical trait and you didn't pick it, it's the hand that you were dealt with. How are you going to play the game? Maybe you really like being in the chess club, but everybody makes fun of you for being in the chess club. Own it. Chin up. You love chess. You love playing chess. You love the chess club. That's why you joined. That's why you wanted to be there. If anybody is going to bring you down for it, don't let them. Go back to that moment of that thing that you really, really liked, that thing that you really wanted to do, that thing that you love, that thing that made you feel proud. And it doesn't matter if other people like it or not. As long as you like it, don't let others bring you down for it. Just chin up and own it. Like if somebody's like, ha ha ha, you're at the chess club, be like, yeah, yes, I am. I absolutely love it. And I'm smart enough to play chess because by the way, chess is something that requires a lot of like brain skills. So literally just like own it, like be super proud of those things that you like doing. But if it's something that's out of your control, something that you didn't pick, maybe you're not proud of where you came from. Maybe you're not proud of your home and the things that you have and the place that you were born in. Find a way to be proud of it. Find a way to own it. Find a way to be like, yes, this is me. This is what I have. And I feel good about it. Now that I think about it, that was a good example, like feeling ashamed of where you come from. I know a couple of people that are from Colombia, where I'm from, and they absolutely try, like they try hiding it as much as they can. Like they wear contact lenses and they dye their hair to look as American as they can. And they never talk about the fact that they come from Colombia. It's like something that they're ashamed of, something that they're insecure about, something that they want to hide. Like instead of doing that and finding ways to feel confident by changing your situation. Like I said, it's not the hand that you are given. It's how you play the game. Play it the other way. Be like, this is where I come from and I feel proud of it. And if you think that I am less than because I come from a third world country or something like that, that's a you problem. I am proud of my country. I'm proud of my nationality. I am proud of where I come from and I'm going to chin up. It's going to sound rough, but it is your choice. The things that you're confident about and the things that you're insecure about are your choice. You get to pick if you let others bring you down for it or not. You get to pick if you bring yourself down for it or not. Like I said, insecurities are really something that you decided that you should feel ashamed of and that you don't want other people to see and that you think you should hide about and that they're just not a good trait to have. That's something that you made up. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. It's something that you made up. Change the mindset. And if it's something that you've been feeling insecure about for a while, it's not going to happen overnight because your brain has already been trained for such a long time that that's something that you should feel insecure about. Or if you're a person that naturally lets other people bring them down, which, hey, that was me. Like, (laughs) I think that's still me in some cases. Like if somebody says something to me, like, I don't like this about you or like you suck because of this or like, I don't know, they make fun of me, whatever. Sometimes I still let them bring me down, but like, especially when I was a teenager, that was me. So I'm not judging you. Like I was the girl that any other person's opinion would really bring me down. But again, that was my choice. 
I was letting them do that. I was the one that was feeding my brain all of these lies and telling my brain, you need to hide your face because it's not pretty and you need to hide your body because you're not the right size and you need to shrink your shoulders because you're too tall and people don't like that and you're never going to find a boyfriend if you're too tall and you need to blah, 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 blah. I used to tell myself that. And if other people would say something, I would be like, yep, they're right. You know, I got to hide this. I got to change this. Now I feel insecure about this. At the end of the day, it was my choice. And now after my dad told me that like chin up, whether you're feeling it or not, be proud of it. It is who you are. It is what it is. It is the things that you have. It's the things that you don't have. You got to be okay with them because guess what? Those are the things that make you, you. Those are the things that one day are going to make somebody fall in love with you. Those are the things that make your friends want to be with you. Those are probably the things that another person is looking at and being like, oh my God, I wish I had that. And maybe you find that an insecurity and something that you should feel ashamed of. So my confidence 101 tip, whether it's something physical or not, chin up. And to the girl that DM'd me saying that she felt really confident before leaving the house and didn't feel confident once she got to be around with other people, hold on to that confidence that you had before. Remember how good you felt about yourself right before you bumped into other people. And whether they're telling you things or whether you're just making them up in your head and feeding yourself all those negative things, you felt good about yourself. So hold on to that. If you're feeling insecure, literally in your brain, like travel back to that moment right before you left your house and try to capture that feeling. How did I feel right before I walked out the house? I'm going to feel the same way right now. And nobody can bring me down. Nobody can change that mindset. And I'm not going to let all of my negative thoughts change the way that I felt right before I walked out of the house. So I'll do more confidence tips and more confidence videos, but this one was the first one. And I just really remembered that time where my dad told me that at the gym and I was like, all right, sir, like you're onto something. (laughs) Like I do need to stand up taller and just act like it and, and be proud of it. And like, this is who I am. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and found that little tip useful. Like I said, we'll do more and I will see you guys next week for next week's episode.